Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson, we are studying regrouping twice when we are adding three-digit numbers in columns. But before we add them in columns, let's look at one example with just a visual model. I have here 159. And over here, 5, 6, 7, 80, 88. Let's see now what happens when I start grouping 10 ones as a 10, because from this 9 and from that one, I can make a new 10, right? So there's a 10. But then I also can make a new 100 from all those 10s. 5 10s from here and 5 from there. So there's a new 100 now, okay? So what do we get in total? 100 and 100, so 200, right? And then three tens and a new ten, so that's four tens. And then over here, seven. Now we do the same with the visual model here and also adding in columns in the grid. My number to add here is 246. And the other number is 200, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and Five. Okay, in the visual model, in the picture here, I add the ones and I get a new 10. There's, I can take five and five. So there's a new 10. And then I also get the new hundred from all these tens. For example, if I take four and then six from here. Okay, so there's a new hundred. And it can look a little confusing maybe, but actually it is easier here. When we are adding the ones, six plus five equals 11. So we regroup. There's one 10 here and one here, right? And now we are adding in the tens. So we get one plus four plus seven, that makes 12. So we get 12 tens, which is more than 10 tens. So the 10 tens make a hundred, right? And then two tens here. So it is like 12, 1 and 2, okay, making 12. And then we add the hundreds and get 521. So it's not really difficult. Let's try it here. And maybe you can try to do it on your own before I add, okay? Just try to be quicker than I am. 9 plus 3 in the ones. That's 12, 1, 10 and 2. So 1, 10 gets regrouped with the tens, 2 here. And now we add the tens. 8 and 2 makes a 10, plus 1, 11. 11 tens, so it goes 1 here, 1 here. And then we get here 800. Over here, in the ones, 5 plus 7 plus 8. 5 plus 7, 12. Then 12 plus 8, 20. 20 means two tens. We get two new tens regrouped over here with the tens and zero here. And then in the tens, Okay, I might add 5 plus 6 first. I remember that's 11. And then 11, and these two make 4. 11 and 4, 15. So I write it as 1 and 5. Because of the 15 tens, 10 tens make a new 100. So there's one new 100 there, 5 tens. And then over here we have 2 and 2 and 4 makes 8, right? 850. The distance from Mark's home to the campground is 168 miles. How long is a round trip if he travels from his home to the campground and then back home? Okay, maybe he's a camp counselor and needs to travel there or something. Round trip means he goes there and comes back, so we need to add that number to itself, right? And I write 168 and I write it under 168 to add over here. Okay, I'm gonna also draw here a line kind of there. Now add the ones. 8 plus 8 equals 16. So 1 and 6, right? Then in the tens, 1 plus 6 plus 6. Oh, that's 12 and 1, so that's 13. 1 here, 3 here, right? And then in the hundreds we get 3. So the answer is 336 miles. It's not difficult, is it? 
One bed costs $149. Find the cost of buying three beds. Okay, we need to add, right? Find the total cost. So I do the same. I write 149 and the same number and the third time. And add. Pause the video and try it yourself. 9 plus 9 plus 9. Well, 9 and 9 is 18. And then 18 and 9. You can think of the 9 trick maybe, or you can think of 18 and 10 would be 28, but it's one less than that. 27, so that means 2 here, 7 here, right? 27. 2 tens goes here. And then we have 4, 4, 4, and 2. These make 12 and 2 more, so 14. 14 means 1 here, 4 here. Regrouping. And then over here we have 4. So, $447. Oh, what's that, Matthew? He says he's tired. He says he's sleepy. <laughs> yeah, buying beds makes you sleepy. And oh, oh, okay. Sorry, Matthew. But why don't you do those puzzles? Perk you up a little. Try. Some number plus 9 equals 2. These are a little bit trickier than in our last videos because there's going to be regrouping twice. Let's see if Matthew gets it right. What do you think? Let's check. 3 plus 9 equals 12. Okay, so there's a regrouping. 3 plus 9 equals 12. Yeah, that's correct. But no. <laughs> That's totally off, Matthew. Let's try it together. 1 plus 3 plus something makes 1. There's a regrouping again, okay? You need to think 1 plus 3 plus something makes 11. These are 4. 4 and 7 makes 11, right? And then we have 3 and 3 makes 6. Okay. How about here? Again, it's a regrouping twice problem. Try it on your own first. Matt, you go back up. I'll do this one. Okay, something plus 3 makes 1. Well, it has to be a regrouping 11 here. So we get 8 plus 3 equals 11. And then 1 plus 9 is 10. And we must have a regrouping here too, so that we have 13. 10 here plus 3 makes 13. And then here's 6 plus 3 makes 9. Lots of 3s. Okay, well done with this lesson.